Yeah, no, no. I'm not, no, no. I, I don't quite know what that means. You're up the wall. I think it means you're not. I'm not getting the deputy or anyone else to falsely imprison you, you silly person. You monster! What am I supposed to do now? They'll be here soon. And once they arrive, I'll be powerless. Powerless! I just want to go to prison! Is that so wrong? Yes! Is the answer to your question? Okay, this is, this is, this is, hello. Welcome back. I hope you have been keeping positive and productive. Uh, one How of those two. How may I help two? you balance your humors today? I'm just, no, nothing. No, right, okay, never mind. No. Okay, so we've, we've spoken to the prophet and I'm pretty sure it was not her. I need to speak to Ludovigo about her and also Cedric. And I need to get access to the VIP floor to speak to Spencer Woolrit, Woolwich. And I need to speak to Ludovico about Black Hole Bertie. I also need to try the guest keys on the rooms or something? Was that what it was? I think that was what it was. Uh, but before we do that... Uh... Yeah, let, let, let's just head back downstairs and see if we can find that geological survey. Sorry, excuse me. Ooh. See if the keys let me in the VIP floor. That's a good idea. Um, There was one here. Th yeah, there was one here. I don't think it's that one. I think it's the one downstairs. But didn't I pick it up already? Did I not? She's whack a doodle. Yep, she's definitely whack a something, isn't she? Totally off her meds. Like. I can't believe Miss Helen's gone. Feels like it's going against the laws of nature somehow. Yeah. I used to watch Helen's serials. I'm... She'd fall into mortal peril every couple episodes, but she always lived in the end. <sighs> I'm still wondering about this. Wake up! I hate you. Cedric Kincannon, murderer of Halcyon Helen. Yeah, I could see it. I could see him carving those words into a plaque. Yeah. He was torturing a guy at the time of Helen's death. That's his alibi? Come on, boss. It's like he wants you to find him guilty. Yeah, now that, that is actually true as well. He wants me to find him guilty. Her down there wants me to find her guilty. So... We find whoever doesn't want me to think they're guilty, and it's them what done it. See? Genius. I'm a genius. All right, where was, well, where was it? Was it, I'll tell you what, let's cheat. It was in this direction. Nope, I ran right past it. Wasn't there a body here? Pick up geological survey notes. Corporate on our... Yeah, I've never done this one. No, I didn't. Corporate authorized the name Eridanium Gagasius to describe the life form. Once we determine whether the creature is a viable flavoring agent, confection ingredient, or drinkable after fermentation, Rizzo's company branding department will provide a more consumer-friendly name. The life form is a parasite. Dissection reveals an incomplete system of rudimentary internal organs, half creature, a half creature, an unfinished accident of orthogenesis. But how can this be? Eridanus is hostile to all life forms. Parasitism implies a rich biological diversity. I theorize that Eridanum gigasius is not truly endemic to the Eridanus 
planet, but was created in the organic waste of the same terraforming system that operates the atmospheric complex. Continuing my investigation, more reports to follow. Happy to be part of the Rizzo's family. Dr. Amir Zhao, team biologist. So we've now... Okay, let's return to Virgil, if I can remember how the hell... Twas this way. Right, let's go and return to Virgil. Give him the reports. You don't think it was Virgil that... Killed Halcyon, Halcyon Helen. Part of his surprise inspection. Can I say invasion of the body snatchers again? You can. I mean, it is a possibility, isn't it, that everyone is under control of br brain-eating slugs, and some of them go wrong and end up those happy people, but some of them are... Really? Some of them may be, you know... Incoming! Okay! And I dodged! And... Oh! I gotta remember to keep doing this. This is... Smash! Oh, look at that! And I got them all... Oh, wow, that was... In a line! Baby! Oh, yeah. Okay. Bertie and Ludovico are the two who don't want you to find them guilty right now. Yeah. Excellent to see you again, my friend. Hope you've been keeping your head high. I think I've, I'm still looking. No, no, I think I found everything. What are these? Research data pads? Hmm. Huh. Not quite what I expected. Let's see what they say. Hmm. Parasites, caves, thought control. He did what now? Well, it doesn't look like any of this is in violation, but it is disturbing. Hmm. Glad you and think disturbing, so. disturbing, a surprised auditor is as foul as failing to file proper paperwork. Rizzles shall pay dividends for my psychological damage. Here's your reward, my friend. Okay. Your contributions to the field of surprise auditing shall not go forgotten. Awesome. Brilliant. So very happy now. Okay, so, um... Hmm. Right, then we need to try and get access to the VIP lounge. Where the hell are we? We're going in that direction. Right. Let's get back to the hotel. If I can remember where the hell it is. I mean, it shouldn't be too hard to find. It's a set of there. There it is. It's over there. Can't miss it. Can't miss it. Well, you can. You could just run straight over the edge and fall to your inevitable doom. That. Incoming. Or, or, or. Oh, okay. Or get eaten by a surprise. Raptor on Colossus that spits in your face. Oh! Oh, God. What? what? Don't you spit me? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Spam me. Is that. What? Who are you giggling? Oh, okay, who are you giggling? Okay, uh, my armor needs fixing. Can we find a bench? Sometime soon. Crunch keeps expecting cutscenes when Gopher is traveling a long distance on board. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Sorry, I, I, I can't actually edit these things live. All right, I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? We, 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 no, was, was there, oh, there it is. All right, let's find a workbench.
Here they come. I know. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Oh! Spitty things. Oh, Colossus, that's why. And... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hopping, hopping. And let's get the throughput. Bang! Straight to the one on the back. Okay. Yeah. Right. Where were we going again? I keep getting turned around. I keep getting very turned around here. No, it, it's 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 there. It's there. I'm just not. Aha! Found it. Okay. Whoa, 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 Nobody likes you. All right. Ah, oh, yeah, I remember this. Okay, so there's the bridge. Or, okay, where's the bridge? I Either or, either works. Have we been over both of those bridges? Are those bridges? Is that a bridge? No, that's a tether. The bridge is well over there. Yeah. All right. That's what Whoa. you Colossus, Colossus, Colossus. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Heal me. Where are we? Oh, really? Re really? Really? Re uh, um. Yep. Really. Oh, okay. We. Should we stick to the road? Is there a road? Come on with the blurry map thing. And here was you thinking combat and become. A are you kidding me? For some odd reason, the um this particular expansion pack has uh somewhat. Um, increase the difficulty spike, shall we say. Okay, and, nope, still going the wrong way, still going the wrong, nope, definitely going the wrong way. Uh, we, we gotta, we gotta go round, somewhat, through, up there. How do you get lost on a floating rock? I mean, really? Hmm. Here we go, we found the moose! We found the moose! Here we go! Yay! To you two. Okay. So. The maps are awful. They are! They are! Bloody... What? Um, uh, oh, I don't quite remember this. <laughs> Been a while. Okay. But... Oh, no, I remember it. Yeah, no, I remember it. Now I remember it. Yes, I remember it now. Okay. 
Okay, onwards. Were they here when I came? Has everything fallen to pieces or something? Heads up! One down. Oh God, those are ugly things, aren't they? They really are quite hideous. Oh, ah, uh, may as well. Whoa. Uh, oh, it's not that good armor, is it? No, no, not as good as the stuff I've got. Do you have anything on here? I mean, like, this stuff's probably about the same as the stuff I've got. It's just not that good. Um, dear, oh, dear. All right, uh, let's just sell the non-unique stuff. Claw rake. Have I... I sort of feel like I... I sort of feel like that's just one of many hunting rifle hyper. I, I've not had too many of these, have I? Don't think so. so I, I might, I might keep some of the hyper stuff just for the. He says one of each. We just just for the collection, you know, just for the collection. That's new, new. Yeah, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep some things for the collection. Okay, let's go over one more bridge. My god, I spend a lot of time running across these damn things, you know that. I really do. Oh Who's that? Joffza! Thank you for the sub. All right, I see people. I was half expecting everyone to have been turned into a slug. All right, VIP. Let's see if we can use these keys to get into the VIP lounge. I just... That doesn't seem like a good thing. You know, I mean... All things considered... I mean, dead guests? I mean, we've met a few of them. Found a few of them. Alright, okay. Let's, let's, let's just, 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 we're, we're, we're fine. We're fine. We're, yeah, still looking for the vodka. Oh, I didn't actually check to see if... Oh, you know what. Okay, um... Will any of these keys get... You've returned. Hope you're finding the hotel to your liking. Oh, yeah, totally. Now, what can I lend a hand with? VIP access. Never mind. Do I need to talk to Ludovico about it? How do I, how would I get, or is there another door? Where, where would the, where would everyone else's rooms? <laughs> guest complete. Oh, VIP guest list. Ruth Bellamy, a.k.a. Halcyon Helen, spells Spencer Woolrich, Black Hole Bertie. Right. Request manifest. Halcyon Helen. Concierge terminal. Despite her celebrity status, the greater part of Halcyon Helen's requests have been fairly normal. Soap, shampoo, new towels, and so on. The one exception is her unusual consumption of food and drink. I'm not one to judge about that sort of thing, law knows. I've seen even stranger proclivities from other guests, but she really does request a lot and frequently. Was she already under the influence of one of those slugs? But she really does request a lot and frequently. Listen to this. For lunch today, she ordered six Boston bean sandwiches, two purpleberry shakes, two purpleberry liqueurs, 
several retro rockets and cigarettes enough to crush a teacup canid. I'd wonder if she was planning a party, but the cleaning staff say that every time they've gone up, there's been no sign of what she's ordered. If Helen really does keep managing to get through all of what she's been ordering, then maybe they should consider quitting show business and enter the competitive consumption scene instead. She was eating for something that was growing in her. Manifest, Woolrich Spencer. In the past two weeks, I've received 315 different service requests from Mr. Woolrich. These requests include, but are not limited to, his entire wardrobe from Terror on Monarch, 413 different outfits, including a primal suit, five gallons of each colour of spectrum, except black, wants 50 gallons of black, teacup canids of various breeds, a plasma launcher, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, and consisting of over 60% of the total requests, an upgraded room. Administrator Ludvico authorised him to move into the second largest room just to shut him the hell up, but Halcyon Helen got the biggest one, and of course Woolrich can't accept that she, he's been eclipsed. Got another room upgrade request as I was typing this. I've more than half a mind to send an exterminator to fumigate his room just so he can't request anything else but a while. But then he might come down here and try to talk to me, and I think I'd quite honestly rather be dead. Requests. Manifest. Holcomb. Black Hole. Bertie. Oh, she was feeding a double of herself. Yeah, that's the other thing, isn't it? Cindy's crazy. There could have been two Halcyon Helens, or... Yeah, someone made to look like her. That means the real Halcyon Helen is still running around. And possibly... Is the killer herself! Oh! <gasps> Were they trying to replace Halcyon Helen with a body double that had a slug in her and would obey their... Rec Ooh. Holcomb's requests have been about what you'd expect from a professional skullcracker. Toss balls, toss ball sticks, new clothes because he keeps, and I quote, accidentally tearing the shirts that are too small for my giant muscles. Funny how the rips I've seen look more like they've been made by hand. I've noticed he's asked for very little in the way of Effort accelerators or enhancers. No skin tough, no oxycomp, not even a dervish mist. Typically, toss ball players go through that filth like no one else. Maybe Holcomb's trying to prove something to Helen. Whatever it is, I don't think it's going to work. Guest complaints from annoyed subject, this infernal racket. To concierge from annoyed subject, this infernal racket. Do you like torturing me? Is that what this is? When I first learned I'd be... Beneath the floor occupied by Rizzo's rangers, I was excited as any toss ball loving Halcyonite should be. What I did not anticipate is the degree to which these hull heads seem to enjoy prancing to and fro, pounding on the floor and my ceiling every hour of the architect cursed day. Did they install a toss ball fifth court upstairs while I wasn't looking, or is this normal? And worst of all, it sounds like one of them has decided to start imitating a woolly cow. I'll give them that it's a convincing facsimile, but it has no place in a hotel, and each bleat is so loud it shakes the glasses on my face. I demand a room changed yesterday. For each additional hour after midnight today that I am not rehomed, I expect at least one employee to be fired. Okay. From a concerned Byzantium, uh, Byzantine subject, Mechanical Menace. To whatever member of the help it may concern, I've heard a horrible clanking passing my room every night for the past six nights. Yesterday, I mustered all my courage and sent a servant to look. And upon her return, she said she'd seen what l looked like an armed mechanical wonder by my room for the past six nights. She said it was something like the Burbage 3001 and that it was a serial star. If this machine was a serial actor, I must ask, why are you filming outside our rooms without paying us? We're not consenting to having our temporarily temporary property filmed. There is no doubt a contract for this, and if the machine is being allowed to wander without being filmed, then I want to be paid double. Do you have any idea how dangerous that thing could be? It could tread on my foot and ruin my aspirations of being a professional dancer, if I ever decide to have those aspirations. I urgently await a response. Okay. Interesting. Is there anything else we can, you know? Oh, 
Okay, we should probably speak to the concierge this side. Hello? The Grand Colonial Front Desk warmly welcomes you, Inspector. It's a pleasure to see you again. How may I be of assistance to you, Inspector? Oh, ah, right. I thought the penthouse was being cleaned for my stay, but it's a pigsty. Absolutely it is. Oh, my. Well, that is certainly odd and alarmingly unacceptable. Allow me to check the service records. Ah, uh, yes. Not to worry, Inspector. It was indeed cleaned for you. Except for the evidence, which is all of Helen's stuff. Right. Yes. Unfortunately. The mess. I need access to the VIP guest floor. I'd love to, Inspector, but I don't really have the authority. Moreover, the guests were promised exclusivity. If I let you up there, I'll never hear the end of it. Oh. The only guest who'd have a problem with being up there would be the murderer. Yes! Exactly! Hmm. That's a good point. If they give me guff, I can just tell them that they're obstructing justice. That has a nice ring to it. Let me just set you up with yes! IP guest floor access. I do not need... Done. You can now come and go as you please. I don't need to speak to um, Ludovico yet. Ah, good, good. Excellent, 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 excellent. Right, let's do that. Let's go and speak to everybody on the VIP lounge and also rattle some doors because I do have the keys to some guest rooms. They're probably not VIPs, though. What floor would you like to visit? The VIP guest floor. If you see Black Hole Birdie, be sure to get an autograph for me. Just joking. I've already got one. He's not there. He's in hiding. Where is those rangers? Hello. Hey there. You a fan? No. Okay. So, let's wander around trying all the doors. Hello. Zeke Hannigan, Rizzo's Ranger 16th back. Pleased to meet you. What can I do for you? Uh, how long have you been with the Rangers? About half my life. You know I was named third most profitable investment on two non-consecutive seasons? Ain't a lot of players who can make Felix. that claim. Except for the guys who came in first and second, I guess. Felix! I spent the last season injured and almost got sold to the Hephaestus Hammers. But now I'm all convalesced. Ready to lay into some Cleo darlings, you know? Really break some legs. Okay. What brings the Rangers to Eridanos? Since it's the off-season, we're helping support the launch of Rizzo Spectrum Brown. Meet the fans, sign tossball cards, that sort of thing. How about you, fella? You after a signature? Nah, I think I'll pass. He's just being coy. Anyway, where was I? Just between you and me, Rizzo's ought to cancel the whole event out of respect for Miss Helen. Mm, yeah, maybe. I had some questions about Halcyon Helen's murder. Yes, I did. Oh, you must be that inspector people have been talking about. It's a damn shame about Miss Helen. She was always real good to me and the rest of the Rangers. Bertie's taking it pretty hard. Miss Helen was the love of his life. Right. So, what did you want to know? Did you kill her? No, um... I just, it's gonna seem rude. I'm just, uh, I'm inquiring to tick you off my, uh, you know, the list of suspects. Where were you at the time of the murder? I'm ashamed to admit it, but... Me and a couple of the other rangers spend the night in Constable Keen's cells down at the spaceport. We didn't do anything serious, just a bit of pranks and vandalism. It's what usually happens when we all get to drinking. Guess Constable Keen saw things a bit differently and had us hauled off. Keen's dead, though. Hmm. Was Bertie in jail with the rest of you? No, we lost him somewhere along the way. Or maybe he managed to get away? I can't rightly remember. Hmm. But he was definitely not sharing a cell with us. That much I know. Tell me about Bertie and Helen. Oh, Bertie was mad about Helen. He was certifiable. The big galoot loved Helen about as much as he loved the game. Trouble is, Bertie was not blessed with an abundance of temper. Mm. Helen kept Bertie steady. If he lost his temper around her, it'd be because something broke between the two of them. Thing is, is if he lost his temper and killed her, you would expect it to be... Like, beaten to death with a tossball stick, right? Do you think Bertie could have killed Helen? What? Law, no. Bertie's got a fierce temper, but there's no way know. he'd ever have laid a finger on Miss Helen. Yeah, no, I didn't think so either. Can you think of anyone who would want to kill Helen? Miss Helen was outspoken. 
she made her share of enemies on account of her expressing herself. Yeah. Just between you and me, I heard rumors the Prophet never much cared for Helen's brand of blunt honesty. Hmm. What can I do for you? Yeah, uh, that's it. All right, thank you very much. You've been very helpful. We're all seeing that woolly cow, right? Not just me. What woolly cow? Okay. Good. I don't see a woolly cow. No idea what you're talking about, Felix. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Okay. Who's that woolly cow? Right. Can, can, can I get past? Excuse me. Multiple discrepancies detected. First discrepancy. A woolly cow is present in this hotel room. Woolly cows are an import species for the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve and are incapable of affording upper-class accommodations. Second discrepancy. This woolly cow is dangerously inebriated with Rizzo Spectrum Vodka. Alcohol sanguinization ratio exceeds recommended maximum. Science. Hmm. There's some worrying discoloration in its eyes. Yes. An accurate observation, Inspector. This woolly cow is suffering from symptoms consistent with a hangover. A brief survey of this area reveals that the most recent occupants were athletes belonging to the Rizzo's Rangers Tossball Club. Was Bertie... Yeah, how would you know that from this? Was Black Hole Bertie here? Insufficient data. Yeah, yeah. A brief survey of localized property damage divided by the area of this room yields the following estimate. This unit was likely occupied by every member of the Rizzo's Rangers. Minus one. Okay. So you're saying Bertie was not here. I shall not ask. I, um... Hello, Inspector Nosy Person. Just, uh, looking for Asikwe Umbra. Wow. Well, no, that's crap. All crap. Classic wear Express. Okay, I'm not seeing anything. All right, never mind. So, n probably the keys I've got are going to be for some... Oh... Uh... Timeline discrepancy <gasps> detected nearby. That's evidence. That's totally evidence. That is totally and utterly evidence. Just completely and utterly. That's all I'm doing. I'm taking it. Because it's, it's, it's evidence. It's evidence. I've now found all of them except blue. We need blue. We got indigo. Out of curiosity, you can't see a blue one line. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Oh, wow. Signed toss balls. Could be a murder weapon. Could be a murder weapon. Bertie Holcomb believed his signature toss ball stick must actually bear his signature. It's scratched into the handle and smeared with old blood stains. Inspector makes you sound like a buttoned up bureaucrat. If it's all the same to you, I think I'll stick to boss. That's okay. You do realize we're in Bertie's. Isn't this sort of like, why, why, why aren't you fanboying a bit more than? I mean, you should be totally fanboying at this. But steel champion toss ball blocker. <gasps> okay. The Dissonant Queen Chapter 2 continued. Two huge shapes suddenly bore down on them. Halcyon Helen saw that these were the same creatures they based on Maximilian Mercer's ship. From the waist down, they had the human attributes, but above, they were slick and jet black. 
These were the dissident evil agents, half men, half giant limbless slugs. Helen, acting with canid-like swiftness, darted out of the way as the first slug struck out with its fangs. Olympus Opal, however, was not as fortunate. So paralysed was she by the first creature's visage that she could not defend herself from the second. His teeth clamped down around her neck, and after a few moments' struggle, she expired. Having regained her footing, Helen drew the spacer's choice pistol taken from Mercer's corpse, still functioning well despite their economic make and let loose, and ere the first spent casings met the ground, both slugmen lay in pools of their own blue blood. Apologies, my friend, Helen said sadly as she looked at Olympus Opal's still body, but I wish you would heed my warning. The colony has lost a great employee today, and with that she holstered her pist pistols and stepped into the Marauder's base. Okay. Looking for the blue one. Oh, wait, wait, wait. A single footprint. Size 10. Toss ball cleat sized. Amplify and amplify. Analyze the footprint for any residue. The soil in this residue contains a very high concentration of oxygen. Hmm. High concentration of oxygen usually points to a terraformer. Well done, Inspector. The weather monitoring station at the pilot house substitutes for a terraformer. The soil in his footprint likely came from there. This isn't enough of a lead. Better keep looking around. Uh -oh. Ah! The charred fragments of a letter lies at the bottom of this waste basket. Can you identify what was on the letter? Unfortunately, most of the writing is beyond recovery. The words station, meeting point, and emergency are all that can be discerned. Station, meeting point, emergency. You think it's talking about the atmospheric station? Or maybe the pilot house? It could be anywhere. Okay, the clues I found point me to the Phaeton pilot house weathering monitor station. Now, poke the ashes. Cold. Any idea when this happened? Yeah. Someone burned this letter shortly after Halcyon Helen's death. Okay, the clues I found point me to the Phaeton Pilot House's weather monitoring station, but we've already been there. So... Probably not that helpful. Great work. Okay. I'm not... A fedora, a red-banded fedora, and ollie ollie toxin-free. Hmm. Okay. Revolver Mark Three. It's a gift. <laughs> little mint, little mint. Hello, glacier water. Not seeing. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that's impressive. No, didn't get us anywhere, though, did it? Okay. Second. Who do you want to talk to first? Burbage three thousand and one. Is that blood or is that oil? That looks a little ri that definitely looks very ri Okay. Initiating banter protocol. 
Now simulating familiar and welcoming demeanor. Greetings, theater aficionado and or dumbstruck fan. You are standing in the vicinity of Burbage 3001, the latest and therefore greatest automechanical actor ever designed. So you've had some work done. <laughs> Isn't that rude? Someone done something with your nose, maybe? Burbage 3001's programming is frequently upgraded to adhere to board certified standards. The most recent upgrade was performed by Spencer <gasps> Woolrich Banter Protocol Exhausted. Reverting to default behavior, grieving and despair. Oh, Halcyon Helen, may your atoms be commended to the Aether. Hmm. So Woolrich actually reprograms you. <sighs> Did he use you as a killing machine? You knew Halcyon Helen. Burbage 3001 was designed to disrupt Halcyon Helen's monopoly over the Aetherwave serial market. This unit's programming is based on Helen's most famous roles. Burbage 3001, anything Halcyon Helen can do, this unit can do slightly worse. You might want to... Does that include dying? It almost sounds like you've got a motive for murdering Helen. Now running shock and dismay protocol. What's this? Helen's death was a murder? How horrifying. Bring that killer to justice, designated authority figure. This unit has not yet completed its grief cycles. Randomizing despair tables. Oh, Helen, is there no justice in the world? Yeah, I'm gone. I'm. D I'm just. G Let's not ask. That's definitely not. Yeah, no, we're not asking. We're... I, 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 I'm, I, I'm not asking. I'm not, I'm not asking. Nope, 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 not asking. Not. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Really? Uh. Discrepancy detected. This bottle, recently discarded, contains residue from foreign substances. Chemical analysis complete. This unit has detected the following substances. Oil, terror blood. Terror ray. Unidentifiable biological fluids. Terror ray. Were these substances added later? Yes, Inspector. Logical analysis indicates these substances were not present in the bottle's original contents. Is it toxic? These substances cause extreme gastrointestinal distress in humans. Large doses can be fatal. This bottle contained rhizospectrum vodka. The presence of terror ray biological fluids may have significantly improved its flavor. Right, but made you ill? About time you arrived. I see you haven't dressed the way I asked you to, but I suppose that was expecting too much of a non-industry lout. Expect a complaint to management. Now, unless you'd like to waste more of my time, I suggest we begin rehearsing. Ready? 
<coughs> I'm still in front of you. You've fallen right into my trap, oh, okay. Captain. Oh, never mind. Oh, don't bother to fight back. You cannot hope to stop me from installing philosophism as the system's reigning ideology. Oh, okay, give it. Oh, how did you know I was a captain to draw your weapon? This is good. Embarrassed by proxy, you want to talk like a human being. No, you'll never take over Halcyon, you fiend! How does the scenery taste? Good, I trust. Uh, wait a moment. You're not wearing a bellhop's ID, which must mean you're not Owen's understudy. Correct. That man can't even be relied upon to find his own replacement. Oh, no, this is curious indeed. Who are you? How did you get in here? Uh, I'm here to investigate the murder of Mahasan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Name's Zark. I'm a ship captain. Name's Hawthorne. I'm a ship captain. Just a marauder. No sort of movements. I'm going to take everything not tied down. No, no, no. I'm here to investigate the murder of Halcyon Helen. And I'd like to ask you a few questions. You're here to investigate me? Yes. Oh, I assure you, I'm nothing special. Just an old crook with more money than time. That was a quote from the retiree's revenge, in which I played an ex-thief turned decrepit old man. But, uh, of course, I'm certain you already recognized it. Now, what shall I sign first? Your weapon? Your wallet? Or perhaps something uh, a little more personal? Undergarment signatures have been popular of late, or so I've heard. You sign my hammer. Are you... Uh I'm not here for an autograph. Why are you asking to sign things? Are you okay? Yeah, are you, are you, yeah, are you okay? I should think so. Signing things has always been a delight. <laughs> I've even perfected the flourish on the end of the W. By the by, how did you get in here? The only non-staff individual cleared to enter guest rooms is supposed to be the inspector for Bellamy's murder. Tip. Oh. Hello. Uh, no. <clears throat> Hello. Hi. <sighs> yeah. Hi. <clears throat> uh, hi. Uh, terribly sorry, Inspector. I didn't realize it was you. <laughs> I understand that I am beyond willing to comply with your search for the fiend that did Bellamy in. You know, now that I look at you, <laughs> you're the perfect reflection of me. Back when I starred in the Marauder's Pain, the absolute picture of justice. Ask me anything at all. I, I might even give you a straight answer. Okay. I've learned a thing or two about your activities. Though. I'd like to ask about the murder. I hear you were poisoned. Yeah, I hear you were poisoned, actually, I did. Indeed. The agonizing bowel pain was most undignifying. While I've certainly had no shortage of inadequate hotel meals, this was most explicitly pronounced. I suspect poison. And who would be most likely to poison me but Chef Anwar? Oh, we've clashed almost non-stop about his slop preparation. He must have tainted my meal in retaliation. Chef Anwar. We gotta to talk to Chef Anwar. Why don't you go to the club? Can you think of anyone else other than the chef who might want to harm you? Probably a rather long list, isn't it? None that I can think of. I treat all hotel staff equally, and with the minimum level of respect that they deserve. Oh, yeah. Long list of people would like to poison you, myself included. And I've just met you, so... <laughs> um... Oh. According to the coroner, Helen was also poisoned. How alarming! Whoever targeted her was certainly targeting me. I can only thank my ironclad constitution that I'm standing here... No, I don't think the... No, she wasn't killed by the poison, and I don't think the thing that poisoned you was really that terminal, but... Shall I say nothing? Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to let him ramble. Go on. He's not rambling. 
If I'd have told him she wasn't poisoned, maybe I could have got more information from him? Hmm. Why didn't you go to the clinic for your stomach pains? Is that a jibe? Could you imagine the tabloid headlines? Spencer Woolrich, Aether Wave star, spotted in gastronomic distress. Oh, unseemly hardly describes the half of it. All right, okay. Very well, then. I'd like to ask you about the murder. Got a few questions about the poisoning. Who exa Who are you exactly? Yes. I'm sure you're joking. Perhaps I'm not in my prime, but you've no doubt seen the name Spencer Woolrich on many a serial advertisement no. throughout your travels. I'm... I think I've never heard of you. <laughs> that can't be. You must just not remember. Or perhaps you only recognize my characters, not my name. Did you ever see me in The Masked Marketeer? The Busker of Byzantium? What about episodes 13 and 190 of Princess of Hephaestus? And who could forget from Halcyon with love? I was great in that movie. Even if I was starring beside a two-ton bucket of bolts and a woman with no talent. Ooh, Busker of Byzantium. Helen wrote a B to implicate her killer before she died. <gasps> yes. I think that's a bit of a stretch, don't you? That's what if we do here. To come we after stretch. Me, I expect evidence, unless you want to be smacked with litigation. Smacked. I feel free to smack away, sunshine. I can do some smacking of my own. I'd like to ask. No. Uh huh. I've learned a thing or two about your activities in the hotel. Oh, have you now? Please do go on. Uh, uh, don't leave me in suspense. I found a bottle of taint. Okay. I spoke to Burbage, and he told me you upgraded him. I did indeed. With Halsey and Helen parading her fame about, I was left without an acting partner. Burbage is no exception. His acting protocols <laughs> were nothing short of a joke. So I decided to make some modifications, installing him with some of my old serial quotes as, I think, improved his range. The way he bungled about with that weapon of his hardly befitted a dissident, so I modified it as well. He's much quicker on the draw now, though he's still a machine. That sounds like a fairly technical thing to do. But you actually made him potentially a killer. Okay. I found a bottle of tainted liquor. Might have something to do with your poisoning. That, yes. Yes, I distinctly recall ordering an alcoholic beverage with my meal. This hotel is certainly bringing a new meaning to the phrase rotgut. Management shall receive the complaint to end all complaints. The complaint to end all complaints. Got my eye on you. I'm quite used to being breathlessly watched. Okay. You made that feel a little creepy. I'd like to ask you about the murder. Certainly. But one quick question before we begin, if I may. How was it that Bellamy met her end? Ah. Why are you so curious? Why, I'm merely worried for my own sake. Perhaps whoever came after her could come after me next. But if you don't want to tell me, I understand. Whatever happened, I hope poor Bellamy didn't suffer. What were you up to at the time of the murder? I was meditating, of course. That's how I get into character. Okay, and is there anybody who could corroborate that? Respectfully, Inspector. It is rather counterproductive to commune with others while meditating. Hmm... So you were actually meditating? All actors have their methods. 
And this has been mine ever since I met that wonderful prophet of profitability. She taught me it for my role in The Unemployed mm. Cometh. I had to lie face down on artificially heated pavement. The director wanted our suffering to be convincing. Needless to say, being able to leave my body helped to mitigate the pain, both during the eight-hour shoot and with the second-degree burns afterwards. I owe that woman much. That gives you yet another motive to kill Helen. I mean, Helen had just uh, hurt that woman. Oh, you're the important guest that visited her in the... M ah, yes. Right. <gasps> Is that why the Prophet wants me to arrest her for the murder? Does she know you murdered Halcyon Helen, but she doesn't... Are you two in love? And she's covering for you? I think I preferred the whole brain-eating slugs explanation, to be honest, but... Okay, how long have you worked with the Prophet? Yeah, actually, only since I've been at the Colonial. The unemployed Cometh was shot on sight. That makes it um, a few weeks. Mm. I cannot recommend her services enough. If you haven't been to see her yet, you really should. All right. I'll answer whatever you wish. Okay, did you know Helen well? Bellamy has been my co-star throughout the autumn of my career. I should like to think I knew her. In fact, I cannot name a single role in the last ten years that did not involve her in some way. Unless you count the uncredited silent shopkeep on Melissa's meteoroids. Hmm. Must have been too flattering, always starring alongside... Oh, must not have been too flattering. No, no, no. Did you consider yourself a friend of hers? I'll ask you this. If you'd been the star of cinema for years, then suddenly found yourself scrounging for bit parts while a younger person stole the limelight, how would you feel? In short, the two of us weren't close. But that's not to say my dislike of her was so extreme that I tried to do anything drastic. Resenting Bellamy is one thing, but killing her is another completely. It's also beneath me. Hmm. Okay, theoretically, how would you have killed the victim? Oh, come now, Inspector. What do you take me for? I'm an old man. I neither have the time nor the willpower to kill people for fun. Besides, I have my reputation to think of. Okay. I suppose that is enough on that grim subject. Got a few more questions to ask about the poisoning. I don't think I do. Oh, must I relive I don't that think I do. ghastly I don't think I do. event I'm again? Yeah. My intestines still have yet to fully recover. Maybe I should... No, maybe I should speak... Very well, then. Maybe I should speak to the chef first. And find out why he wanted to poison you. Actually. No, scratch that. Let's talk to the chef and just make sure the reason he wanted to poison him is... He's an annoying git. 